No base is built perfectly. Every base has a weakness, even the best ones being built in Clash of Clans. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys different ways that you could take advantage of your opponents in war or while you're trophy pushing and get the most value out of your attacks and beat those bases that seem unbeatable. What is up my friends, my name is Echo and today we're here with a topic I've never covered before on the channel and I'm really excited about it. I was called over to Minion by Y Minion, so thank you so much for having me come through to show you guys some attack strategies, but I actually saw more in this than just that. If you take a look at this Town Hall 9 base, you might say, this is a tricky base. We have a compartment in the center that just looks like it, there's some type of trickery going on. We have an exterior clan castle that's sometimes difficult to deal with, easy to lure, but then you get a bunch of spam troops that you have to deal with. But wait until you see how this base is destroyed. It is unbelievable. It's next level thinking. And honestly, a small mistake on the build right here of this base. Before we get into any of that though, guys, make sure you sub the channel, ring the bell, daily Clash of Clans videos right here for you. But look at this base. Look at that clan castle and tell me in the comments right now, what is the downfall? We know if we drop our king, our queen, or any troop there, it will lure that clan castle and the troops will come out, we'll need to deal with them, correct? Well, there is something that won't lure a clan castle and that is a skeleton spell, as you can see on the bottom of the screen. The attacker is going to take one skeleton spell and completely remove this clan castle from the attack, never having to deal with the troops within. Check this out. The, the clan castle is out of range of any defenses. The queen can't even reach it, so the defensive troops within will do, no, will, will do nothing. They will not ever even come out of the clan castle because if you take out a clan castle before with with a skeleton spell the troops will never be deployed and you don't ever have to deal with them that is next level thinking that is looking at a base studying the base and saying i could take advantage of a base right here and then coming in with an attack that is is possibly vulnerable to those clan castle troops, but now won't have to deal with them. Check this out. The golem coming in, we have the wizards behind setting that funnel. King, queen, Pekka are gonna go into the base with some Valkyries. You have the rage spell, which is gonna make all of them go ham, and a jump spell still in the composition. Now, there's the jump. Probably didn't even need it. You probably could have gone with a rage spell instead and just torn that all up. But he goes with the jump and the rage just to be safe. And that trickery we spoke of, it's that Tesla farm in the core of the base, and they can be very difficult to deal with. But now that that kill squad totally gutted the base, there's nothing left in the center of it at all. We're gonna be sending in some hog riders from the south all the way to the west, picking away the defenses. The peck is gonna be chopping through that wall, trying to make her way to that town hall. She is hungry for some town hall. She wants to grab that two star. And the queen, she's gonna be reaching over the walls. She's being protected by the golemite from those golem. So the queen is, is sitting pretty nice right now and able to help out the troops, the hog riders as they pass through. Notice this one heal spell being dropped in that final compartment with a lot of big gaps we all know from watching other videos on my channel when there are gaps in a base you can anticipate there being traps in the base I'm talking about like that giant bomb right there now the hog riders are going to hop back on over and all the defenses are gone the base is going to be cleared up and the best thing about this this may be one of the smartest ways to deal with the clan castle that i've seen in a long time Taking out the clan castle with one skeleton spell. If we're talking about value, guys, you don't get value better than that. Usually, you have to send an entire kill squad into a base or queen charge into a base to take care of the clan castle. But here it was done with one spell that only takes up one spell slot. I don't know. Let me know if you're impressed with that as I am because it obviously really did impress me. Let me know what you guys think. But we have other ways to exploit bases, and we're going to look at them in forms of Kill Squad Lalo attack strategies, and we're going to get into those right now. When coming in with a Kill Squad Lalo attack, you are going to be trying to do a few things. You want to try and get a queen if you can. You want to get the clan castle. That's a must. And if you're able to, you want to take out a few air defenses along the way. The less air defenses, the less tanking your, your Lava Hounds need to do. Now, on this attack, the attacker wide minions notices that we have two air defenses that are pretty 
easy to get to. We have a compartment where they can walk in through, but instead he's going to bring some wall breakers and get his kill squad in to lure the clan castle and take out those two air defenses. Not only is he taking out things that are going to hurt the attack, but he's also cutting the base in half, then allowing for the balloons and the lava hounds to pass through really nicely because you don't want your balloons and lava hounds spreading out and going wide in the base. You want to keep everything narrow. Now look at that clan castle lore, taking out the baby dragon, the witch, and two air defenses. Now I would have loved it if the queen could have gone just a little bit further into the base and taken out that enemy queen as well, but she was not able to. She did go down. He probably would have needed one more golem for tanking to get that done. But notice, there's a skeleton spell in the composition. He thought about this ahead of time. He probably knew that his queen would not have enough life to take down the enemy queen. So he brings a skeleton spell along because with a skeleton spell, under rage, with some balloons distracting, you could easily take down a queen and we're gonna see that happening very soon too. The trick is, wait for the balloons to be distracting the queen, for the defenses around the queen to be targeting those balloons. Then drop the rage spell, drop the skeleton spell and you're gonna see the queen go down pretty quickly. Now notice the rage spell is dropped. In come the balloons, distracting the queen, distracting the wizard towers as well, dropping the heal spell for those balloons and the skeleton are coming through guards I should say taking down the queen preparation for the attack seeing what could go wrong making a plan for something that can go wrong so if it does happen if that kill squad did not get into the base and actually had a hard time getting that queen which she did able to take her down with the skeleton spell instead complete I mean, that that's how you plan in Clash of Clans, guys. That's what you're supposed to do. Look at the base, plan your attack, figure out where the weakness is, and here it was on those two air defenses on the outside, and figure out your strategy to exploit that base. And we, I say this all the time. We do a lot of base stuff on the channel. We have the entire Unbeaten series. Every base can be three-starred in Clash of Clans. It just takes the proper composition of troops and the perfect deployment, and that'll result in a three-star. We have Ondoy on this attack, and let's look at this base. He's coming in with a Lalo as well, a kill squad Lalo. And notice over here, the air defenses again are close. There's also some air sweepers and the clan castle. Notice he also has a skeleton spell in the composition as well. That skeleton spell is solely to deal with the queen if the kill squad doesn't take down the queen. Now, in this case, the attack is coming in from the opposite side of the base of the queen, so the attacker is not planning on taking down the enemy queen with our heroes here comes the golem jumping into the base he was concerned he wouldn't be able to get the wall breakers to the wall so instead he played it safe and brought the jump spell it's very important that your troops can go inside of the base. If you try to do the attack and you fail at getting in, you never lure the clan castle and your attack is a dud. Down goes one air defense. The king is about to take down the second and now working on that expo while the queen is dealing with the clan castle troops out of commission. Looks like we may even get one of those air sweepers as well. The queen is cleaning up everything as best as she can. I wish she would have jumped over and taken out more air defenses, but she's going to take out one air sweeper which can be brutal against balloons take out that point defense and now she's going to secure the two star grabbing that town hall because we have the lalo coming into the final two air defenses the lava hounds are going to come in front they're going to tank and absorb any air bombs and air mines as you can see coming through the base and um, the balloons are going to be safe behind that's what tanks do they tank for things they protect the the daintier troops behind now notice, all the air defenses are gone, the queen's ability has been popped, up pops a Tesla farm, but we have the enemy queen there as well. Look at our queen, she's taking down the enemy queen, and then she's going to step up and heal herself up as well within that heal spell. Talk about a queen that knows exactly the job that needs to get done. So here, coming in on the side of the base, narrowing the proper portion of the base down, taking out the air defenses along the way, leaving for a... a easy entry into the base with the lava hounds and the balloons the attack went perfectly again it comes down to planning if you decide to just look at a base for one minute and attack it a lot of times you are not going to be able to put forward the best attack possible you're going to definitely want to study a base look at it figure out where its weaknesses are and then give it your best shot with the strategy that is most that the base is most vulnerable to going down to it's not always going to be a kill squad lalo attacks will vary and 
It's all based on the base and how you think you could triple it. We have one more. Let's take a look. Guys, if you made it this far in the video, you are an OG of the channel. Thank you so much. And I want to remind you guys that I still do have a membership program right here on YouTube. As you can see right here, you can become a member of the channel. Link is in the description of this video. And in doing so, you will get my emojis next to any comments that you make inside of my comment section. That's going to make you stand out. Everyone's going to see you as someone that directly supports my channel. Not only does it do that for you, but it helps support me directly, allows me to maintain my full-time status on YouTube. So if you're interested in doing that, please consider it. Again, link is in the description and thank you so much. Whether you decide to or not, I appreciate all of you. But now, let's look at this base. So we have one last base that we're looking at today. Coming in again with the Kill Squad Lalo. Again, we have those air defenses. They're lined straight up across the center of the base. The base is long and narrow. So if we take out one side, we can narrow down the base even more. Notice getting some good value from the wizards and the archers on the outside of the base. There's a clan castle in the middle and now comes the Kill Squad coming in from the east. Also notice there are those sweepers. They're facing one another. That could make it very difficult to enter a base. So we would love to see a kill squad get in there and at least take out one of those sweepers so that the balloons aren't being blown back and forth where they just are basically fighting sweepers the entire time. We have the king jumping into the base again. Andoy really wants to make sure that his kill squad gets in the base. So he doesn't go with wall breakers. He goes straight up with the jump spell. Now the queen, she's walking around. We would have loved to see her go into the base, but the queen does not. The clan castle doesn't go down, although the troops are already in there, out of there. It's, it's empty, so that's no big deal. But the queen is actually doing something that she probably doesn't even realize that's even better. She's gonna be narrowing the base even more and taking out the enemy queen. So here we go, the queen is invisible right now. Our, the other queen doesn't see us. Bam, we get that queen taken down and that is massive value. But we do have the problem with those sweepers. How is he going to deal with the sweepers? Notice the wide deployment of those lava hounds. The wider you go, the more traps and mines you'll be able to take out along the way. Plus, we have one more Lava Hound coming out of that clan castle. The Lava Hounds, three of them to be exact, are a bunch. That's a lot of tanking that's going to go on in the base. Now with the Rage Spell, able to push those balloons quickly through the base, the Rage Spell wasn't probably anticipated being used there, but because our queen walked up instead, we were able to get that done. Notice the skeleton spell still in the composition as well because it wasn't needed for that enemy queen where they were planning on using it. So now instead, skeleton spell could be used to distract the wizard tower and wizard towers are brutal against these balloons. The balloons get hit with that splash damage and they get damaged quickly, but right now, I think we're only looking at one archer tower left in this base and that is going to be it. And then we can sit back and watch the amazing cleanup of this base. But I hope today you guys learned something about exposing bases for their weakness. Remember guys, there is no base built by anyone. Even some of the base building companies that I support, there's no base that cannot be beaten. There are bases that'll take a lot longer to figure out. There are bases that'll take a lot longer and more attempts to try to beat them, but every base can be beaten in Clash of Clans. You just gotta use your noggin and figure out a way to get it done. But we're out of here for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know your comments down below. And of course, bang it with a thumbs up if you don't mind. So before you go, check out this video. I think it's something that you'll like, give it a shot. But we're out of here for today, guys. Remember, be safe and be good.